Wyandotte Popcorn Museum. Look at this. You see a big tent, and there's always a party in a tent, isn't Absolutely. there? Absolutely. <laughs> and free popcorn when you and come to visit. Get out. That's really? why I'm here. This yeah. is Gail. Free She's popcorn. with the Marion County Historical Society, and there are like two museums in one. Right. In this building. Right. But we are here for the popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah, we're Restored all about popcorn Restored antique here. machines. This yeah. is pretty cool. World's largest collection. Absolutely. This is very cool. Let's start over here with the Paul Newman wagon. Oh, the Paul Newman. Yeah, this is a 1909 Dunbar model 950. It was used by Paul Newman when he began to promote his products, his Newman's own old style picture show popcorn. Look at the that. popcorn was produced right here in Marion. And this wagon is the wagon that Paul used in Westport, Connecticut and Central Park in New York City to get his product off and running. Can you believe that? So, Look what yeah. it is today. Yeah, here it is, right here. Wow. How many different antiques have you guys restored that's actually uh, in this museum? We have over 50 restored popcorn antiques in this building. Goodness gracious. Look at this truck, too. And this Remember that? is a 1927 Model T Creators, and it's been refitted to be a popcorn truck. It goes in the popcorn parade every year the weekend after Labor Day. Popcorn yeah. parade. Popcorn parade. <laughs> I sure, I that. mean, we're the popcorn capital, <laughs> right? You have to have a popcorn parade. Now the smaller smaller machines, I mean, you got the... These are all Creators. These Creators are all was Creators. a big, big wow. company. Mr. Creator pioneered popcorn machines that were self-contained. Uh -huh. They had a little steam engine. Would you like to see one run? They still work. Yes, yes, they've all been restored. Okay. This is a steam engine, and the steam engine actually was run by hot water, of course, that's what steam is. You had a gas tank, it provided the heat for the machine uh -huh. to pop the popcorn and roast peanuts. Wow. And then the steam engine provided the mechanical power to do everything. So all you had to do was put it in, take it out, and bend it. Wow. And of course, you heard the whistle earlier. No, we didn't. Okay. That way you know when the popcorn and the peanuts are ready. <laughs> Everybody knew across the block, right? Everybody and knew. And at the circus, these well, machines would they these go would, through the crowd. Uh, some of the bigger machines would yeah. be in the circus. Smaller machines like this would park outside of theaters and opera houses and vend their products right at that time. Okay, the critters are very popular though. You have several. Of we them. do, and it's and when did the Cracker Jacks come into play? Cracker Jacks actually were invented in the 1870s, uh -huh. but they became bigger during Look the, at the old first wor during the World's Fair in 1893, and uh -huh. that was the first World's Fair in Chicago. Wow! So all of these Cracker Jack things were. Um, they're all part of the collection for. You knew you're at a baseball game or the circus. Oh the yeah, yeah. And, 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 and when the song came out, came out "Take right. Me Out to the Ball Game," it right. really boosted sales of Cracker Jacks. <laughs> what do we have here? This is another Creators, and this one's got a worse whistle than the other one. Well, I let's mean, not loud. turn that on. Yeah, it's a killer whistle. <laughs> they could clear out my eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> but there's several different kinds of corn, which lots is cool to know the history lots, about that. Lots of, and of course, Native Americans. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for Native Americans, we wouldn't have corn. Right. Thanks to Native Americans, the. The popcorn, all corn, is descended from the corn that they grew. And there are actually six different kinds of corn, and mm -hmm. we have some of those corns on display here so that people can understand a little bit more on the history of popcorn itself. Right. Last machine. Oh, this is, this is a Holcomb and Hoke. It is a 1918, and oh, cool. it's got all kinds that. of cool mechanics. Wow. It's so much fun to watch. Now I've heard about the old maids. And you know what? With this popcorn machine, you never got old maids in your popcorn. That's right. You know what an old maid is? That is the kernels that have not popped. Absolutely. <laughs> I learned and a little something today, Gail. The slogan for this company was never a broken tooth. Isn't that appetizing? <laughs> I love it. All <laughs> right. But the, the old maids are separated. The popcorn is popped up here, comes down here, and the old maids fall through the spaces on the conveyor belt, and then they're drug along and drop down that tube. This so is, they're this separated cool. from the popcorn. This Isn't is all new. Cool? You gotta come get a great tour right Absolutely. here with Gail at the Wyand Popcorn, popcorn Museum. Museum. Who knew? All right, we go from popcorn. I'm gonna go get a bologna sandwich that's this thick. Oh, they're awesome too. I've had them before. Okay. Trust me.